What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist. And today I have my full review of these flagship bookshelf speakers from Q Acoustics known as the Concept 300s. But I'm also going to talk about the stands, the Tensegrity stands that these are sitting on because they're quite nice. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the design of the speakers and the stands, play a few audio samples so you can hear that they make sound and give you my impressions after spending a few weeks with the speakers and the stands. So let's get to it. This video is sponsored by the Hi-Fi Summit, an online hi-fi trade show created by friend and fellow YouTuber Joe from Joe and Tell. If you've ever wanted to attend a hi-fi trade show, this is your opportunity. The show is open to everyone and will feature seminars with Q&A from your favorite brands, including SVS, OSD, Parasound, Cherry, and many others. There will be giveaways and the opportunity to hang out with some of your favorite YouTubers, including yours truly. The show is five days from October 22nd through the 26, 2020. Tickets are $29 for all five days. Get your tickets at thehifisummit.com slash tickets. The Concept 300 are a two-way speaker that comes in several different finishes, including silver and ebony, white and oak, and black and rosewood, which I have here. They feature a 1.1 inch tweeter and a 6.5 inch woofer. They have a frequency response from 55 Hz to 30,000 Hz, a nominal impedance of 6 ohms, and a sensitivity of 84 dB. They are 13.9 inches tall, 8.6 inches wide, 15.7 inches deep, and 31.9 pounds each. The Tensegrity stand is a tripod made of lightweight aluminum with stainless steel cables to maintain the shape. It stands 27 inches tall, 19.3 inches wide, and 16.9 inches deep. Each stand weighs 8.6 pounds. The Concept 300s cost $34.99 for the pair or $41.99 for the speakers and stands. The stands can be purchased by themselves for $999. Q Acoustics recently released a universal top plate so the stands can be used with other speakers. I'll put a link in the description below for more details. So here we are with the Concept 300s and the Tensegrity stands. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the exterior design of these speakers. Quite frankly, they look fantastic. You have a nice lacquer applied to the surface finish, which gives it a nice high gloss finish. It's nice and smooth to the touch, which is great. Uh, Q Acoustics does include a cleaning cloth in the box, so you can wipe them down every now and then just to keep the dust and fingerprints off of them, but they look fantastic. Now, I have the black and rosewood surface finish, and I like this two-tone look. You've got this rosewood on the back rear here, and honestly, kind of draws your eyes to it just because it looks so good and it wraps around to the rear face back here it just looks great now along the front here on this other speaker i've got the cloth grill on it and the cloth grill does cover the entire front with the q acoustics logo down there at the bottom now that logo has kind of got a brushed metal look to it and i think it looks really good this is one of the few cloth grills that i actually like the way it looks on the speaker because it's just i don't know that that logo down there just looks really really good it's simple but yet elegant at the same time now to pull the cloth grill off you just give it a little tug it is attached via magnet so it will come off and there are no holes along the front face now the frame itself is plastic but it's nice and sturdy and it does have writing here that says this way up so you know how to mount um the grill onto the speaker. It has a hole here for the tweeter and for the, and for the woofer there. So, you know, you definitely wanna make sure you mount it correctly. But right here is that 1.1 inch tweeter and there is the six and a half inch woofer. And just below that is again, another Q for Q Acoustics. And it's nice and subtle, but I think it looks really, really nice. Now let's talk about the rear face of the 300s. This is where all the connections are. First and foremost, you can see the same rosewood surface finish as I mentioned on the side and top of the speaker. It looks really nice. Up top is the rear port and it comes with a port plug. If the speaker is close to a wall, you wanna make sure you keep the port plug in because it will clean up the bass response. But if it's further away from the wall, you can pull the port plug out and get a little bit better, deeper bass. Now that the port plug is out, you can see there's a hole there. But just below that is this little, what's known as a jumper here. This is how you can slightly alter the treble response of the speaker. Currently, I have it in the plus 0.5 dB configuration. If you move it over to the left-hand side, 
that's the nominal configuration. And if you completely pull the little jumper out, that is the minus 0.5 dB of treble. And you just kind of play with it, see what you like, and then adjust it accordingly. Now, just below that are the binding posts for the speaker. This is how you connect your speaker wire because this is a passive speaker. It accepts bare speaker wire, banana plugs, and spade connections. You can go single wire or by wire and by amp. Now, single wire, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you leave this connector in, but if you're going to buy a wire or buy amp, you're going to pull the little connectors out. You have the red side or the positive side, and you have the black or negative side here, and these little caps just screw on and off so you can do what you need to do. Now, let's talk about the interior design of these cabinets. Obviously, when you're listening to a speaker, all you really wanna hear is the sound from the drivers, but unfortunately, there is sound that can come from the cabinets because the drivers are moving air inside the cabinet. So what Q Acoustics has done is, first and foremost, they've included their P2P or point-to-point -point bracing technology. The idea here is to put braces strategically inside the box to not only provide rigidity, but also reduce low frequency vibration inside the cabinet. Now, the next interior design feature I want to talk about is the dual gel core design that Qacoustics has included in the 300s. Now, what this is, is basically a box within a box within a box. And in between those, you know, three layers of boxes, you have a non-setting gel called gel core. And the idea is whenever you have a high frequency sound resonating within the box, if it escapes the first box, it hits that gel core and it dissipates its heat. Now, if it escapes that gel core and hits the second box, again, it'll hit that next level of gel core and again, dissipate its heat. So again, q Acoustics is trying to quiet down the box. The final piece of technology that I want to highlight here is the isolation based system. At least that's what Q Acoustics calls it. Basically what they've done is they've taken the entire weight of the speaker and they've put it on four springs that are attached to this base. So that means that this base actually does move in and out just a little bit. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to reduce any vibrations from the speaker from traveling through the stand or I guess even a table that it sits on but they're also trying to reduce vibrations from the floor traveling through the stands from affecting the speaker. So Q Acoustics has included three different technologies within this box, all with the point of reducing any vibrations and noise, and therefore you get a cleaner, purer sound. Okay, now let's talk sound quality. To test the sound quality of the Concept 300s, I use my Denon AVR-X4400H as my sound processor and my Monoprice Monolith 7 channel amplifier as my power amplifier. Now it can output up to 200 watts per channel and so it's plenty of power to drive these speakers. Um, I also mainly ran this as a bi-amped configuration because I like the way that sounds. It gives dedicated power to the tweeter and also to the subwoofer so I get a nice clean signal. That's just a personal preference. Now I tested music and movies with these speakers and I'm going to talk to you about the sound quality but before I do that I want to play a couple of audio samples just so you can hear that these do make sound. Now that you've heard those audio samples, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to rank the Concept 300s in a few different categories from one to five. One being the absolute worst and five being the absolute best. The first category I'm gonna rank is design and I have to give the Concept 300s and the 10 Segrity stands a five out of five. I think both of these look exceptional. I really enjoy both of them. Starting with the Concept 300s, first and foremost, this black with this high gloss finish kind of reminds me of Darth Vader's helmet in that it's deep black and then you've got that gloss on it that I think looks really cool. Um, I like the look up front with the little Q logo down there and I like it both with the grill on and with the grill off so I kind of just go in between those two which is kind of fun. But the thing I really like about these speakers is the fact that they're two-tone and they have this rosewood on the back end of it and I like it because when you're looking at the front you're like hmm that looks nice and then you peek to the side and all of a sudden you get this you know kind of 
pop of color that really kind of draws you in visually. It makes you want to look around the back of the speaker and see what's going on there. And again, the rosewood continues back there. So I think that Q Acoustics has done a great job with just the color combination and overall how the Concept 300s look. Now moving on to the Tensegrity stands, these things look fantastic. The aluminum rods themselves have sort of a brush finish to them while the stainless steel cable is braided and I think that matches very, very well. In between some of the sections, they have that little black piece there. So again, that just adds just a little bit more design pop and the overall tripod design I like a lot because a lot of speaker stands, you know, they have the single pole or maybe a dual pole down the middle and that's, you know, kind of boring, but having that tripod there has a nice flare to it. And I know some of you are saying, oh, the tripod is a little too wide, takes up a little bit too much floor space. Well, in between each one of the legs is about 20 inches of space. So it's not a super wide tripod, but it is nice and stable. It's a tripod, right? So I think it looks great together with the braided steel lines and also having that aluminum, you know, load bearing rods there. The 10 Segrity stands look great. So if you're going to purchase the Concept 300s, I definitely recommend you get the 10 Segrity stands. And if you just want a nice speaker stand, again, buy the 10 Segrity stands because they look fantastic. The next category I'm going to rank is features and controls, and I give the 300s a 5 out of 5. Q Acoustics has done a great job giving us as users a lot of things that we can control like the port plug here you can tune the bass to your liking the jumper here you can adjust the treble just a little bit one way or the other to your liking you also get the ability to buy amp or buy wire these if you want to i recommend by amping personally but that's a personal preference you can also single amp it if you want it's totally up to you but they also provide a lot of features that we can't control but do improve the sound. That includes the point-to-point -point bracing, the dual gel core, and even this spring brace down here to again, quiet things down and give you a cleaner, pure sound. So again, I have to give them a five or give the 300s a five out of five. Now let's talk about the most important category and that is sound quality. And I give the Concept 300s a five out of five. These things not only look fantastic, but they sound fantastic. Honestly, when listening to music and watching movies, I actually prefer watching movies on these even more so than listening to music. And honestly, for me, that was a little bit of a surprise because I thought these were gonna be great in two channel and they are, but the stereo image of these speakers really, really make movies sound good too. Uh, when I typically unbox a pair of speakers, what I'll do is I'll break them in for 30, 40 hours, depending on the manufacturer's recommendation. Then I'll sit down and listen to some music and watch a few movie scenes that I'm familiar with. Well, when I did that with these, they weren't properly set up yet, and I was very, very impressed with the stereo image. But once I set these up properly, and I found being towed out just a little actually made the stereo image sound the way I like it to sound, everything was very, very nice. Vocals were nice and centered. Things came from the left and right as expected. There was height to the image and depth as well. And honestly, that's the thing I think that I really like about the movies was elements were placed within the scene where I expected them to be placed, which was very good. Moving on to music, live concerts really sound great because the stereo imaging is so good. Lead vocals are nice and centered while different elements are placed within the soundstage where you want. And since there's depth to the image, even the audience actually kind of moves away from the band a bit, which is what you want when listening to live concerts. Another thing I really enjoyed is the fact that the highs, mids, and lows are nice and balanced. One is not more prominent than the other. I also found that sounds are very clean and very clear with these speakers. And what I mean by that is the notes sounded like they stayed in their lane. When I compared these to my own Klipsch RP150Ms and I was just doing some back-to-back -back music comparisons just to figure out how these sounded. And oh my gosh, honestly, my Klipsch RP150Ms sounded a bit garbled when compared to these. And honestly, I think it's because the cabinet on these is just so quiet in comparison to other speakers that I listen to. And so just listening to these, I just enjoyed it. And they're just great speakers. The overall sound is just a touch below neutral, so it has a nice natural vocal presence. When looking for a downside of these speakers, the only thing I could really find was that it doesn't play as low as I would like a speaker to play. It'll play down to 50, 45 hertz or so. Now, Q Acoustics specifications say these play from 55 hertz and up, and they definitely do that. They play bass with great detail. But if you want more deep, impactful bass, you're gonna have to add a subwoofer. I tried these with the SB1000, 
9000 and it works really well. Now I no longer have the QB12 because I had to send that review unit back. So I wasn't able to try them with that particular subwoofer, but they do work with the SP1000 and work quite well. So overall, these speakers sound fantastic. I really enjoyed them and I have to give them a five out of five. So let's wrap this up. As you can tell, I highly recommend the Concept 300s and the Tensegrity stands. They both look fantastic. I really like the Tensegrity design and I love the overall cabinet of the Concept 300s and the fact that they give you a few different color options so you can better match your home decor. These speakers sound fantastic and they give you the ability to adjust several things, including the treble. I did try that, it works well. I prefer the nominal setting myself, but it does work. Sound is nice and clean, clear, and very, very natural, which I like. And honestly, like I said, if you're looking for deep bass, you will need to add a subwoofer, but otherwise, I don't think you'll regret purchasing the Concept 300s. If you want to purchase the 300s, the stands, or anything else from Key Acoustics, use those links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.